<laughs> You're like a vampire at you. Uh, <laughs> greetings, people of Earth. My name is Rob Whelan. And my pronouns are he, him. I'm an author, game designer, and professional nerd. Tonight, I am the host of Theater of the Mind Players, your friendly local actual play show. Flaps. We are playing, speaking of flaps-related things, Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, it is the classic game of uh, personal and political horror uh, that's been around for decades uh, and is currently published by Renegade Game Studios. We're playing the fifth edition. Uh, if you have not already watched the first two parts of this particular arc, we recommend you go back two spaces uh, to watch that episode first. If you want to see where all these characters came from, go all the way back to our first episode and watch uh, the fun develop because we are literally dealing with stuff in this episode that happened in previous episodes. This is a very serial uh, game that we're playing here. Um, but right now we're going to go around the table. Uh, we're going to have everybody introduce themselves, uh, who, what character they're playing and what clan and concept they have. Uh, and then we're going to jump back into the game. And we're going to start with our first mind player. Hi there. My name is Jordan Fishburne, she, her, and I'm playing Heather Dupont, the Tremere Osiris. <laughs> You'll get that right by the last episode, I promise you. As soon as you put the fangs in, Osiris becomes a lot harder to play. <laughs> I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Let's move on to our next mind player. Hi, I'm Jenny Higgins, she, her, and I am playing Linda Melitic, the Malkavian Bagger. Let's move on to our next mind player. Hi, I'm Tawny P. Thompson, she, hers, and I am playing Jackie Day, the Bruja Scene Queen. Let's move on to our next mind player. Hello, my name is Ethan Eichstead Anderson, he, him, and I am playing Sunny Fielding, the Nosferatu Sandman. And... Last but not least, our final mind player. Hi, I'm Sarah Babe, she, they, and I am playing Chelsea Dagger, who is the Gangrel Blood Leech. And she's currently on a date with her werewolf boyfriend. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's that, that's one of the things with with, with uh, the Gangrel is that because they're the, the, the loners and outsiders, they tend to have storylines that kind of separate and, and, and come back. That's okay for right now. Uh, because you are in Seminary Woods with Sean. Mm -hmm. And he spent the last half hour moving rocks? Yeah. He's looking for the blood drop. He could be chopping wood. <laughs> <laughs> yes, at, 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 at 2 a.m. without a shirt on. Sure. Yeah, because nobody in St. Francis would call that in. <laughs> <laughs> So what have you been talking to him about? Um, I kind of just talked about the voice and saying it's somebody that I drained. Okay. I'm Like, I trust him, but I also don't want him to have that knowledge because culpable deniability. That's fair. So, like, it is a I burden. Mean, he also hasn't really talked to you about his werewolf stuff either. Right. So, like, like I don't you, You're honestly a little surprised that he's back in town because you dropped him off on the on the outskirts of the city where you know the other wolves sort of gather sometimes. Right. So there is also that question of like, why are you here? The dog park. It's <laughs> 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 a <Mortimont> dog park. <laughs> Rude. Okay. I think uh, like after I, so why are you here again? Uh, it's it's boring werewolf stuff. I don't know if you want to hear it. I just told you a bunch of boring vampire stuff. Um. Well, the reason I the reason I was in town in the first place was because um this place has uh um energy to it. Like what? Uh, we, uh, we, the, the Garu, the, we protect these, these places of energy. Oh. Because we believe that the earth is a living thing. It is. And these places of energy are what, you know, they're the, the organs that keeps the earth alive. And this place, and he gestures around the woods. Mm-hmm has been left unattended for 
years. I, I, I didn't think that, like, I wasn't expecting to find a place like this because most of them have already been claimed by different packs of wolves. Oh. But this place is unclaimed. I, I, I'm shocked that it is. And I told the other, the, the wolves, the ones that um, you left me with, and uh, they don't want to come into the city. They say it's it's too dangerous. And I mean, they're probably right. I did get hit by a car and kidnapped by some weirdo. What did you call them? A dusk blood. Dusk bloods. And like, I got a lot of told you so's when I went back to the, the werewolf club. Let me tell you. I can imagine. But can't just not protect this place. I could help. Um, how are you going to help? Um, I could help protect it. Okay. By doing what you tell me to do to protect it. Okay. Uh, do you need help with those rocks? Or marking your territory. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know. I feel like before you help me protect this powerful node of, of earth energy, maybe we should go on a date first. <laughs> oh, oh, um, oh, wait, How, what do you? I'm sorry, what? A, a, a date. Do you, do, do you remember dates? <laughs> yes, I remember dates. I just, um, I didn't realize, like, helping you protect the woods would be such a, a an, an, an intimate thing? Well, no, the intimate thing usually happens, like, on the third date. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, I need to finish up here and I need to get to bed, but why don't we figure out, you, you tell, you figure out a place where you want to go and we'll go there tomorrow. Okay. That, oh, oh shit. Um, yeah, I would like that. Cut to. Are you going to bring this guy to Elysium? Fuck no. Because <laughs> that would be kind of funny. I think that would be fucking great. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was in here. <laughs> I think you should. Uh, for, for, for both our podcast and our um, uh, video viewers, you can't see Lord of the Board, Brad, but he's doing his best Lee Trevino uh, in, in Happy Gilmore impression. <laughs> Right now, no. <laughs> where'd you Where'd you take your werewolf boyfriend on the, 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 your first date? Oh, Elysium. <laughs> Alma already hates me. Oh my god, why would I? Well, Guild uh, the Lily. My suggestions would be Black Husky Brewing. <laughs> <laughs> I love how, I love how we have these two storylines of like. Dense vampire intrigue, and no, you should take him to the. You can also go to Hounds and Tap. Yeah. Hounds I was tap, just going to say tap. that one. It's a dog park brewery. Uh, the, yeah. Uh, pro tip: you should probably feed before you go on your date tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah, M Miss Four Hunger Dice. Well, you no, I'm at three one. now. Oh okay, I'm at three now. She ate off of. Uh, oh yeah, because you're tripping balls. I forgot. Doctor Mysterio. Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not tripping ball balls so much anymore. We're good. <laughs> Now, now I want to do the 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 um, oh, I, the the Venture Brothers character. <laughs> oh, dead me! Did you just call them the Venture Brothers? Maybe. All right. Um. So, if you go on a date, do you go on a date as dogs? Or as I don't think you, you have. have I don't think you have, have power yet. Social house is dog friendly. Also, uh, you know, Wizard Works is also dog friendly. <laughs> it is. There you go. <laughs> I'm is really going to be excited when we do a very fucked up version of Lady and the Tramp next week. 
She starts at the toes. He starts with the femur. <laughs> <laughs> they meet at the knee. <laughs> in, in Amarada. Okay. Um, <sighs> so the four of you have gathered at. Are you gathered at the clinic, or are you gathering at the the skinhead location? Well, I've got some cleanup I have to do. Oh, you've taken care of that. Um, I was also kind of hoping that I could wring out that shirt and eat. Like off the walls. Oh, oh yeah, you have your iron gullet. <laughs> How gross you are. And she plays into it. You are the cleanup crew. Oh, I am. Yeah. I am the bro. brute squad. <laughs> because I, I can close the door and no one can see. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh... I have been in sewers, and that's nasty. <laughs> I, it is how the Lord made me. <laughs> oh, it is a feeding closet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like instead of clearing the table as a waitress, you just sit down. <laughs> like, I am deeply unsettled. <laughs> and that piece of shit couldn't even get it into the bucket as it ring out his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so where, where do we want where, where do we want to gather? Do we want to gather at the clinic after you've snacked, or? <clears throat> You want to go cut to the, the 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 skinhead bar? Let's let's cut to the let's cut to the skinheads. Okay, because I do have. It's like let's see. I open up the wallet. Tuck the plastic <laughs> in my pocket. Do they have some kind of like punch card from the skinhead bar that we will be naming <laughs> yes. skinheads? No. Um, <laughs> uh, it's uh, fourteen eighty eight. Oh. I hate that. Be, please be but more unsettled perfect. by that. <laughs> oh, I am. I'm angered and so unsettled by that. Is it in South Milwaukee? It's in South Milwaukee, isn't it? Yeah. Am I very one, not welcome there? It's well. It's one of these. It's one of those little dinky corner bars. The only reason you know that it's called 1488 is because that it's done up in um, Roman numerals. The fucking address. Oh god. Um. Am I very not welcome there? How often have you been there? Yeah. Well, you've probably kicked out a bunch of people yeah, that yeah. that frequent. Like this is yeah. th this is the place where, after uh, they get put on uh, the "See You Next Tuesday" wall, they come here and growls about that that "See You Next Tuesday" who runs the Mingo. Fair, yeah, okay. <laughs> Not exactly. I don't blend in good. No, 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 no. Like, no. Uh, unless you are. Unless you are a skinhead, you're not going to blend in. No. <laughs> like, I'm assuming you are all kind of gathered near it and like a block away and kind of discussing. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Does not having hair count? You uh, could probably fit right in, Sonny. And I, just color to be fair, <laughs> um, uh, to be utterly fair, this is all your fucking fault. So. I had a watcher. You did not. Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> nobody was watching anything. I was making sure nobody caught you now that you did the correct Well, job. you fucking failed. Yeah. <laughs> I did a great job. Nobody <laughs> caught Sunny. Oh, oh, thank I, you very I, much. I fucking hate how right you are. <laughs> exactly. So it's not my fault. All right, all right. They didn't all even right, know right, I was right. there. Jordan, the Jordan, as we all know, is the best kind of correct, which is technically correct. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we did nothing wrong. My superpower is always being right, even okay, when I'm wrong. I'm going to take this up with y'all later. Um, we were in and out. No one saw us. Someone fucking saw you. No, they Somebody saw the aftermath the and you. <laughs> All right, here's the plan. Do We're going to go in. Do you guys call me? Does anybody... Do We could have called her from the clinic, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's always good to have an extra We're going to need backup because we're going to go in and I'm going to um, take fight? the bartender's face and run it down the bar very slowly. We need two skinheads alive to clean That's up this mess. That's actually going to be the hard part. <laughs> We need them alive. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, technically, <laughs> yeah. technically, do we need That's them? That's why I'm reminding you now. Do we need them in a coma? I think they probably need to be awake. We. He can comatize them later. You know that rule where it's like leave the place nicer than you found it. Yeah. Yeah. We should. We should look at these sheep. Is you got to leave them nicer than the coma people. Oh, I thought 
thought you meant leave the bar nicer than we found it. And having all of them not conscious would would what accomplish if that. Only brain dead. I'm gonna wait in the car. <laughs> I, look, I mean, does anyone have a better plan than do you running? But I don't want to have to drag them to where. We, where do we have to do the, you there? We have to bring him. <laughs> what's to what's your name again? Heather. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Where actually is Elysium being held? Oh, uh, St. Kat's. St. Kate's. St. Kate's. St. Kate's. Saint, Saint Kate's. Um, did you guys... Classy. You guys did call me then? I would say yes. we did. Yeah. I feel like at some point, I, I'm sure one of There's you... There's probably like a group chat of some sort, and Linda and I are like, I'm sorry, the fucking what? But, you know. The only reason we're not just snatching to... I was Waiting about outside. to say Wait until to leave. There is a bar em, close. We know where they live. We don't have to do it here. But it would be way more fun if <laughs> I just she's, go in. She's like, but but we but and we're crush at the, some heads together. We do you want we're to at just Disneyland and I want to and I want to go Jackie. on some rides. Oh, Jackie. Well, if you do start a fight, yeah. you have to start a fight against all of them, or else they're just going to be focusing oh, on Oh, come you. on. It's a bar brawl. They all start fighting each other at some point. Jackie. Everyone's drunk. Jackie. I'd be like, oh, your girl was hitting on that guy. Ah! And then fight. It's probably a sausage party in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Okay. Heather, you know how this works, right? Oh, my God. That guy just touched me. Can you beat him up for me? Ugh. Can I please just <laughs> can't I just someone? Can't I do blood sorcery okay. instead? Here's the thing. I am in a very delicate position, all right? I run a business in this town. <laughs> if what? I'm seen inside... By the time I turn around, can I be gone? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if I'm seen inside that... Jackie! <laughs> Door shuts. Excuse me! There's connotations when you are in psychic work. <laughs> and... There are about ten guys in the place, and they all turn and stare at you. Stop. Um, so, so, do, so do we wait out here? Yep. My um, specialty is bar fights, by the way. Because you, you, you just reminded me that I'm dice. a social media influencer. Yeah. On top of my eight A dice. social media influencer. Okay, well, yeah. Okay. So, if I'm fucking um, seen in a so, bar like that... It'd be really bad. Yeah. Around, shall we? <laughs> I, I do believe there's three of us that shouldn't be seen. <laughs> you would actually be good in there, wouldn't you? I don't it's look human. Nice. They don't give a fuck. <clears throat> they barely human in themselves. There, right? <laughs> um, I think, and the minute I walk in, I'm literally like, <laughs> I say, which one of you bitches wants to dance? <laughs> All right. Um, the deep cut for some from, from, from black books. <laughs> from what? Black books. <laughs> Great show. You should look it up. Oh, what the, about the bookstore? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 I inhaled the little book of calm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now remember, you also do have disciplines that can uh, that can help here. I have five successes without any disciplines. The first guy that comes up to you has three, so you uh, counterpunch and. Uh, I think. Can I? Can I? Can I um, headbutt him? Oh yeah. <laughs> so he <laughs> just he, like straight. Yeah, he comes up and you just do a, a, a like a, like the full on diving forward headbutt, and crack his blood goes shooting everywhere out of his nose. What? Y'all hear from inside the bar? <laughs> Can I go wait, wait, wait. To the car, <laughs> um, get the car blanket and lay it out in front of the window on the outside of the building? So there really when is. When I throw it. someone okay. through a window, That's like, like I'm imagining this is one of those little dyed corner bars that has like the corner door with like the little. I can the throw them out the door. I can throw them out blocks. the door. Yeah. Um, <laughs> throw a human through glass blocks. They're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so I don't know if I want to roll out every attack here. Um, what is your... So what is your dice pool for the bar fight? Nine. All right. 
So you headbutt of that guy, the rest of them jump on you, um, you get walloped, you give as good as you get, but eventually you are overwhelmed by numbers, and you get tossed out, and you have five levels of superficial damage sure. to record. Um, so you're bloodied and bruised. Um, you can spend uh, rouse checks to heal your stuff up before you go back in. Um, meanwhile, what's the rest of the crew doing here? I'd like to go around back and okay. come in the door and use my technology to try to start an electrical fire. Okay. Give me a wits plus technology roll, please. Uh, anyone else taking an action? Yes. I would like to jump in the fight with some melees. Okay. What do you got? For melee, is that strength or can I do dex? Um, I'm slinky. Usually it's it's strength. And okay. even evens are sexes? Yes. <laughs> Six. Okay. I have five. What what are you using for melee? Like a knife? Because that means you have like a weapon as opposed to. This bro- no wait, I might be I might be misremembering that. Let me check. Because in nope, yeah, brawl is unarmed. Melee is like stabby and punchy stuff, or uh, like clubby stuff. Then let's do a clubby stuff. Just picking up a chair and swinging. Okay. I want to look for an opportunity to snatch. Okay. Some of these guys up, like one or two, um, and then see if somebody else will need to do the actual grapple to get them, because I don't have a lot of strength on my side here. Okay, give me a uh, wits plus awareness or alertness. I always forget what they call it. Awareness. Now, I would like to think that I thought ahead. (laughs) Not charge in with your face? (laughs) Not charge in with my face, but I've got a cooler with some injectable thorazine and some blood just in case. And um, if she's going in to try and pull somebody out, will brawl, a little bit of brawl, help me like get on somebody and drug them up? Um, I will say... I got three successes. Here's a fun... Here's here's a fun... I was... I was I'm going to go with dexterity and medicine, is I think what you're going to do here. Oh, okay. Let's see. That is five. Oh, cool. Oh, and how many how many blood was I able to? Oh, just one. So I will be rolling five. You know what? I'm I'm going to ask you a question. How mad are you that you got chucked back out of the bar? Um. Are you mad enough that? You are interested in, would you perhaps interested be interested in a chocolate-covered frenzy? I mean, I don't think my hunger, I don't think anything. No, 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 that, no, no. That I you have also can get, that. you can also get, uh, uh, become frenzied when you are angry. Or a bruja? Is that a bruja thing? No, that's a anybody thing. Oh. Right? Yes, but the Bruja have a part have a particular weakness against resisting it, but I don't want to necessarily enforce that here. What'd you get? Um, I got what does a skull mean? Oh, that's a one. Okay. So that's a fail. Does something bad happen? If you don't get any successes, then it, it's considered a like a botch. Okay. Oh, and am I looking for a number over a number or am I looking for Evens. Oh, shit shitballs. I got one success. Just one? Mm-hmm. Well, that's, well, that keeps it from a botch, but um, I think the the general chaos inside the bar, you aren't able to get close enough to anybody to 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 dose them. Damn it. Damn. I mean I, I don't I don't know why I would frenzy at this okay. point. Okay. Then what are you doing? I guess I'm making a rouse check to try and heal a little. Okay. So roll one D ten. Nine. Okay, that is a fail. Uh, you you still heal one uh, health level, but you also gain a hunger. Are you waiting back into the melee? Yeah. 
Okay, make your fight roll. And that's at a negative two now? No, because you healed the... one. Okay. Is that superficial damage or aggravated damage that'll get you negative two? It's when you fill up your health uh, levels, that's when you're at negative two. Okay. But because she healed, she's back to one less. One down. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's two critical successes. One was on a hunger die. Six successes in total. If you if you got two tens, that gives you two more successes. Okay. So eight successes. Eight. So do you want to murder one guy or damage a bunch of other a bunch of guys? Damage a bunch. Tell me how you punch or attack four guys. Uh with a bar stool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All at once. Yep. Um, that straight you're straight across. The legs off. <laughs> <laughs> no, just the whole bar stool. Perfect. Um, and I think it's one of those big metal ones. Okay. Uh, with the padded seat, you know. You j- you push the four of them back into the wall. Um, There's a dartboard involved. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> one of them hits the dartboard, and you s- and he hits his head very hard. And you see blood spatter up against the back of it. Because you got a messy success. You killed one of those guys. Fair. <laughs> Go ahead and take a stain, please. Mm. Or a skinhead. <laughs> I will say that that's one of my things. Well, that, that means I that you'll get... Eat skinheads. <laughs> that, that will mean that you get a bonus to... Is there a spot in the app to mark stains? Uh, it's, on the, it's, on the, it's on the humanity section, because you basically cross off of one of your empty uh, boxes across from humanity. Okay, got it. Everybody's inside. Gonna do some attacking. Nothing for Linda. What is your strength for uh, brawl pool total? <laughs> like, how many dots do you have? One. Okay, so... You're going to take one uh, level of uh, superficial damage. <clears throat> what is what is that same number for you, Sarah? I'm sorry, which number? Strength plus brawl. Okay, strength and brawl to four. Okay, nothing for you. Because I'm in the back, nobody can see me. Uh, Ethan? Three. Nothing for you. Tawny, what's your strength plus brawl pool total? Oh, is that nine? Nine, nine. yeah. Million. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. So so only the 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 very wavy Tremere takes any damage from the the the, the brawl here. Oh, did I mention the fire? Because there's a fire. <laughs> so funny thing about fire is it's one of the few things that can kill a vampire dead. Oh fuck. Did you forget that part, Sarah? Yep. <laughs> One hundred percent. I am but a husk, and I will. Uh, so I need everybody to give me. I believe it's a resolve plus composure roll. <sighs> Side note: I believe Sarah forgets this every time she plays vampire because I know she plays. Well, vampire. especially since you know, <laughs> set things on fire is her first uh, move. Well, to be fair, we play Cthulhu a lot, and the no, fire is the answer it works. to everything. <laughs> the fire is the answer to everything in that game. So we want what composure versus uh, comp- uh, resolve plus composure. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm really good at? Resolving composure. Okay, not bad. One crit success, nothing else. <laughs> How many successes did you get on that uh, that uh, technology roll, Sarah? Six. Ooh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I had a crit on one of my hunger dies, by the way. Just one crit. Okay. I'm a really bad vampire. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not so, good at this. Uh, who got three or more? Me. <laughs> You're the only one who does not uh, go into Rot Shrek, which is basically the frenzy of, oh my god, oh my god, the fire is here and it is going to burn me. This is a great choice for the only person who doesn't freak out. The only person that can't do anything. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you also get to add one die for each three dots you have in humanity. Oh. Oh, oh good. One die. Yeah. 
Yep, yeah, that did not help. <laughs> can we willpower it? Make that three successes for me. No. You can stay. You can stay in. You can stay in. But the rest of you, Linda, Linda, the, I, I the, now have three. Oh, okay. So you're the you two are the ones who are fleeing because you like basically the electrical fire was going to happen. You just made it happen right the fuck now. Like you base there, there was basically like a massively overplugged outlet right behind where they keep the the liquor, and you just kind of had to like wobble it once or twice. Sparks flew, you know, oops, you spilled the vodka, sparks flew, boom, the whole back wall is up before you know it. That went better than planned. <laughs> and that thing inside of you, it's as if it is on a string and pulling you back from the uh, uh, from from the bar. And the same thing happens to you, the three of you, to uh, Jordan, Tawny, and um, Jenny, you're able to to keep your shit together. Like you definitely feel that that ice claw around your heart. Like go fucking go fucking go. But you are here for a very specific mission. So this is actually kind of a good group that keeps their head on straight. <laughs> <and bad people. laughs> the three people that were like, this doesn't need to get taken care of. Could I grab a skinhead and then whichever one of these two are closer to oh, me? Oh, they're, they're already out the Okay, door. they ran. Got yeah, it. No, I they, thought we would need to pull them out. No, 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 no. Okay. They, they, okay. they went <laughs> and ran. Um, I would like to grab one of the skinheads that's maybe knocked out but not dead yet. Yeah, go ahead and give uh, me a... Uh, by the back of the shirt and just... What, what's your what's your dex with sprawl? Or, I'm sorry, strength with sprawl? Uh, uh, eight. Yeah, you uh, bar fight gives me the plus one, so nine. You can you can roll it or you can just take it because it's going like to be a to take it. Yeah, you you. <laughs> can I grab two? Actually, how many successes do I need to grab two? Um, I will say for two you would need five successes. I'm gonna roll it. Uh, that's a crit success. That's two crit, crit successes. Neither of them are on my hunger die. Okay, got one more. And a regular and a regular. Oh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six successes. Okay. So yeah, you <laughs> just like, grab them by the back of their jean vests. Mm -hmm. I like blow the fire away from her as she takes <laughs> these people well, out. I think you kind of do the oh, let me help you get out the door. Boom! Oh, sorry, whoops, I yep. missed. Yeah. <laughs> um, did did you guys have a transport system? Sunny laid out a blanket for the car, <laughs> but I could maybe call Danny. No, uh, who's, I have whose car? <laughs> hang on, hang on. I hang only on, have a on. horse. Um, I have a side hustle, which does it. I assumed Heather owned a car. Yeah, me too. I don't drive. <laughs> um, I would like to use my side hustler. <laughs> I established Ill. that on the way to the party. <laughs> oh, yeah, she did do that. Well, I was going to say, otherwise, I'm going to assume that, Linda, you had a, you had a car since everybody came from your place. Sure. <laughs> like and you also like I'm assuming a donor van. Well, it could be. I feel like with the with the kind of business you have, you do have a shall we say biological transport vehicle. <laughs> um, I turn on the lights and it lets me go through the signals. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to make the siren noise this time. So I think what happens, you drag the two uh, skinheads out of the bar. Mm -hmm. Uh, pull them over to Linda. She's got her sedatives ready. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> with, with very little um, protest from the, these two assholes, they go right to sleep into the back of her. Is it a van? Is it a truck? What is it? It's a van. It's a van. A van. I'm saving for a Gotta blood a mobile. <laughs> <laughs> got a wizard on the side of it. <laughs> Can I just double check that these guys haven't been food? Recently, like they haven't been used because this might close one can of worms and then open another can of worms. Oh, you're afraid that whoever owns the that's that's a fair cop. <laughs> um, I is? have vessel recognition. Yeah, it, they these should do nicely for the purposes of what you have acquired them for. I inspect them and I give like a little gold star that I put on each of them like just <laughs> under their ear 
Grade A meat. Grade A not being used by anybody else. <laughs> um, okay. Well, actually, I think we'll deal with you later. S- because since you are frenzying and it is getting close to sunrise, you are probably not going to end up in a place that you like you expect to. I can talk to animals. Just want to throw that out there. Okay. So, so if we need some place safe. <laughs> Well, you you both have run in opposite directions. Okay, like, then I won't eat Ethan. So, um, what I suggest uh, the two of you to do is to roll, give me a willpower roll, and tell me tell me how many successes you get. You know what you're talking to animals about right now? Fire! 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 Run! Run! Yeah. Run! Shit! Shit! Fire! 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 Did you just roll how many willpowers you got? Yes. Okay. And tell me how many successes you get. Two. Okay. Dos. D. Six. Six? Wow. Damn. Motherfucker. (laughs) Okay. I mean, I'm happy for you. I really am. So, honestly, (laughs) Ethan, because you rolled six, uh, that usually anything over five is uh, considered a critical win. Um, So, I'm going to say that you actually get back to your haven before sunrise. Like, you 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 reclaim yourself, and then you're like, you know, you whip out your bus schedule, and you're like, okay, I think I can get make it. Got to get on the 18, Sarah. Yeah. Um, what we'll do is next, uh, before our next episode, I'm going to give you two locations that you can choose to end up in, and you get to pick which one. Uh oh, I have regrets. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You burned down a Nazi bar. I think that. You- okay, I have less regrets. <laughs> and uh, actually, let's end our episode tonight with you calling uh, Kozakov because you don't want to make this exchange at Elysium. That's no, a bad idea. That is a bad idea. So where do you arrange to meet him and whom do you bring with you? I don't think you can bring yeah. me. No, Out of the I three think... vampires you um, get... <laughs> I would like to bring a loaf of bread with me. Okay. Oh my God. I would like to not bring you. You have to. <laughs> I don't have to. <laughs> I, I'm the I one mean, you've got beef with. Actually, you might. But he's already he's already you've got you've got a proxy now. But it would do well for her to show up. Yeah. And bring her wheat. Especially because like in like Camilla wa- C- C- yeah, yeah, the Camilla wise. I remember my etiquette. Yeah. And I was going to say too even if she mouths off, look I made you what? a Nazi sandwich. He'll still not like her, <laughs> but she'll have made a Nazi it. Even. <laughs> That's true. So he may still target her, but then that is actually her fault, and I won't feel as bad about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's none of mine. All right. Uh, where do I want to meet him? Um, do we, do we want to bring him to his domain? Like, I don't know if we want to enter in his place of... Well, she can. She knows Kazakov, so she can call him and say, "Meet us yeah. here." Yeah. Okay. But like, I mean, the, 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 the deal. Do the, transport for him. Like the the tricky part about entering his domain is you don't know if he's going to be waiting there with his with his boys. Yeah, that's where I was hesitating. But like, what's basically the vampire equivalent of meeting at a police station to trade goods bridge i mean rob did tell me at the very beginning that elysium is the place where you can't that is fight fight but it is is also the very fancy (laughs) oh there's um we can pull into uh um there's a car wash that we can pull into okay Ah. because i don't want anywhere open because we're going to be dragging some bodies out of my van Okay. And are you talking about the one on KK? I mean, first, no, it's KK. I don't know. There's whatever. a bunch of them, and we can clean your car right after too, just yeah. to get rid of any. Uh, well, maybe not right after because you can already see the purple creeping up into the sky. Yeah. Um. But uh, sure enough, um, you pull it in, and a few minutes later, he's got to drive some old ass car. Um. Why'd you look at me? That's like an old <laughs> caddy that's got like a four body trunk. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Does he drive a galaxy? No, no, no. 
It's like uh, my dad's Buick. Yeah, it's no, like no, no, no. My dad has a Cadillac. It's like a, it's like a it's like an old Chrysler LeBaron. Oh, <laughs> it's got. No, curb. LeBarons weren't too big though. Not. Cause that's what I he has. Cool when my friends had one of those Lincolns that literally could lay sideways throughout the back. <laughs> yeah. like in the trunk. It's got curb feelers yeah. on it. Too. A Delta 88. <laughs> oh it's my god, yeah. Fighting yes. the deadites. <laughs> um, but either way, an old car. He gets out. You know, the three of you, are, I'm sure, are probably like sitting on the, the hood of, of your van. I'm and when he sees. Um, Linda. Linda. He smiles. God damn it. <laughs> he you, likes you. Aww. Used to bump bangs. <laughs> <laughs> Not for lack of his trying, but no. <gasps> My Contessa. I did not expect to see... Does he just think everyone's royalty? You hear it. Just go with it, it's easier. Draw thing, Contessa. (laughs) I am here in the capacity of uh, helping out a friend. You have brought me... You say you have brought me my sheep. I also brought you some wheat, so here you go. You can make a sandwich out of them. (laughs) Yes, I'm fucking funny. You are the funniest kindred that I've ever met. That's really sad. <laughs> well, that's that's sad coming from your biggest fan. What? I inspected the um, sheep myself. They are unused, as it were. Ah, uh, fresh, not yet shorn. Well, yes, oh no, they're very shorn. They're a little sleepy. And they have no hair. I open the van. <laughs> ah. Step into my office. Mm. He, he, he sniffs the neck of one of them. <sighs> so much hate. Thought you'd like that. Yes, yes. This These will do nicely. You have done well. You're still on the Tuesday list, so... If I am no longer welcome in your domain, that is your choice to make. It is. And I I hope that you will respect my domain as well. Sure. That is all that I ask. I'm sure that's the only thing you ask. And he scoops up one, puts it in the the four-body Cadillac trunk, scoops up the next one, Puts it down. Thank you. I un- I appreciate knowing that there are other kindred who respect the traditions of the old world, even here in the new. I do think it's a good idea that we're in such a small town. We keep it civil. <coughs> yeah, c- civil. Thank you, Jack. Mm-hmm. Do I feel like he's actually pretty give, happy? Give me about an insight it? roll. Okay. Just six. Well, do you want to keep the three? You want to take three? I'll I- take three. I love taking three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. He's got two fresh uh, vessels that he can snack on the, over the next couple of days. Um, that is that is in fact what he wanted was because. Uh, you guys took one from him. He wanted to take one from take two from you. Uh-huh. As far as he's concerned, you're square. Lovely. <sighs> Easy as that. Yeah. Contessa, you have anything to say about this? About what? Being a Contessa. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. I outrank you. <laughs> and Day. that is where we will end our episode here tonight <laughs> thanks for joining us uh, for another night uh, here in Milwaukee um, we hope that you have enjoyed uh, our tales so far we hope that you return uh, for our next uh, evening where we get to uh, we get to see these guys burn down Elysium it'll be fun um <laughs> Could we not this time? <laughs> <laughs> we just saw what happened with fire. <laughs> <laughs>
from <laughs> all of us here at Theater of the Mind Players, we are... Tawny P. Thompson. Ethan Exit Anderson. Sarah Babe. Jordan Fishburn. <laughs> Jenny Higgins. And as always, our Lord of the Board... Brad Davies. From all of us here, this is Rob Whelan reminding you, just repeat to yourself, it's only a game. I should really just relax. Punch your local Nazi. Congratulations, fellow human. You've reached the end of an exciting episode of Theater of the Mind Players. If you enjoyed our story, please like the video. If you want more games, subscribe to our channel. Attack the bell for notifications on new posts. If you liked the episode, please tell us what you enjoyed the most in the comments. If you loved the episode, consider joining our Patreon. You'll get access to special shows, session zeros, and help us determine what we play on the show. We love our friends of Pat Rayon, and we hope to see you there. <laughs>